Greeting, good gardeners of the earth. So, I don't know about you, but I prefer to plant things from seed, you know, provided the opportunity is willing. But with seed comes challenges of getting your plants out without damaging them. And of course, you know, we can go online and buy these cheap little plastic uh, little capsules uh, for our plants, but these don't last. These don't last. I do not like using these uh, particularly because I find that when you try to get them out, uh, they break, they crack, they break, they maybe last a year. But what I, what I find is best hands down if you're willing to be a little bit patient and gentle uh, is planting your seeds in a foam old foam container just like this right now i've got some beetroot that needs to come out and um, i'm certainly not organized when it comes to my seed propagating i actually uh, just create lines but i put in all varieties and of course um, different seeds germinate at different times so that can be an issue but thankfully um I'm creative by nature and I usually do something a uh, hundred times through trial and error until something works. And what I actually found is that when you plant your seeds in a foam container like this, you can see this is old. I have been using this for years. These are just amazing. And this was just an old fruit and veg foam tray and I just poke some holes in the base of it. And I find that these are the best for, prop for propagating my seeds. But because everything's planted in the same big capsule like this, it can cause problems if you're not careful with disrupting and disturbing other seedlings that are coming up. Um, but again, if you're patient and you are passionate about gardening and you love your plants, then you will treat these like babies, like children. And the way that I actually get them out, I found the most effective way is by getting a sharp knife. So this is just an old kitchen knife. It's pretty blunt, as in it's got bumps and grooves and it's just something that I didn't want in the kitchen anymore. And I've sharpened it. And all I do is cut along a little line here to give it a real good sharp just like this wipe it off and then cut along this small little piece here it's a bit like cutting a cake <laughs> I found that culinary uses make good application in gardening scenarios. So I have just cut out here with sharp sides, a little beetroot and I'm gonna, so then I get a butter knife again, culinary kitchen tools here, give it a good wipe. And then I will just pick out this little beetroot right here. There you go. And uh, that's ready for the ground. My beetroot's actually going out in my garden. So let's go out and plant them. So this is how it looks from the top angle. And I just come along. And cut along like so. So long as so long as you give the roots um, so long as you don't pull these small little cuttings, these little cotylodons, that's your cotylodons are your first leaves that come up from the seed. So long as you're not pulling them out 
by their stem here, you're not going to damage them. Seedlings are quite forgiving. They're quite tough. They're tougher than you think. So you can see here, these, are, these two are quite close together. So when I eventually pull those out, I just put them directly into the ground and they 98% of the time adjust and have no root shock and grow exceptionally well. And these ones here, this is coriander. You've got now the, the second leaf coming through here. These are plant, planted in these little uh, seedling trays, which I don't really prefer. But I was kind of short of foam because I had many other seedlings coming up. And you can see I've actually planted some seedlings. Uh, I actually think these could be Brussels sprouts. I don't actually know what they are, but I'll find out soon enough. And then I have these interesting little um, seedling trays here, which have a really open bottom. You can see the big hole. So I put in some kind of compost or hay in the bottom to stop uh, everything falling through. And then just stick a finger up the center when they're ready to go, just like this. You see? And that's easy easy access and that tomatoes i've got an onion and a tomato or a few tomatoes that are ready to go in the ground i actually like planting them quite early and let them have an adjustment period in the ground you can see these tomatoes all started off also in the foam tray and they're coming along nicely now I'm getting ready to string those up and of course these are very closely planted together bit of an experiment but we'll see how they go together it's going to be intense in here in a few months time so this is my garden bed and i've got a couple things growing in here but not much at the moment these plants these vegetables are here from last summer they were really on their way out and in the summer they were really struggling but now look at them they've just come back absolutely gorgeous flourishing lovely these are cauliflowers and i've got some curly leaf kale here and these tomatoes which were also on their way out have now come back and are thriving um so yeah let's plant some broccoli and you'll see down here, you can see how actually close I've planted them together. Um, they've actually got a new little friend here, which is a saffron bulb that um, came up. I was hoping it, they would come up. These are three-year-old saffron bulbs. And I'm very pleased that they have come up. And that's the first one. So this is a mix of um different types of beetroot plant in these new beetroots planting them quite close together here they can work themselves out squirt of water this is just an old milk container that i've drilled some holes out the top and now I'm going to get this little beetroot here and it's quite a wet soil but that doesn't bother me. The soil itself here is very dry because I haven't watered it too much. I don't go pushing it down or anything, just give the water a chance to absorb and soak through and that's it. I just let nature take care of the rest. I let Mother Earth now take over and we'll see how things look in a couple of months time. 